Hello everyone. <clears throat> I see you all suddenly appear on the stream. It wasn't a slow build up today. It was a everyone jump on at the same time, which is great. That's the benefit of starting an event. Uh, everyone gets notified straight away. So hello. Welcome to the stream. Feels like I've not been on in a while. What are we on? Friday night. Tuesday? That can't be the last time we're on, surely. Anyway, good to see you. I've missed everyone. Missed being on stream. Uh, and we've got loads to catch up on tonight, including some tiny little newborns, which kind of caught, caught us off guard today. Uh, we weren't really expecting it. We knew there was some getting close-ish, but um, the term farted them out has never been more appropriate. Uh, one minute they were standing there, the next minute um, our numbers had multiplied. So... Yeah, it's been, uh, for pygmy goats, as pygmy goats births go, it's been very successful. If you've not had your tea yet, don't look at what mum's doing, because she's actually chewing her afterbirth, um, which always wants to give me the wretch. Bit disgusting. Um, Laura is watching from Massachusetts, USA. Emma Heard has just subscribed, um, and she was in today, so it was lovely to meet her. Uh, let me know where you're watching from Put some likes in the stream if you'd be so kind And give us a share, that would be brilliant Help us grow uh, So what have we got today? Well, first thing that's missing is Farmer Pete He's still trying to get his tea um, I have managed to wolf my tea down And try and get here I know I am slightly late, so apologies But I was going as quick as I could tonight um, I had to deal with the newborns before I went and got tea uh, Make sure everyone is okay So I don't believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, that this lady has a name. Um, the supporters have all be, have been introduced briefly to these guys already, uh, just when they were born. So I would like to call this little lady, take the, um, I'm going to take the position of naming her myself because I think she suits Polly, and the reason why I want to call her that is because I keep referring to her as pathetic Polly, and that is because. When she first arrived at the farm, she was so incredibly weak and skinny. And to be honest, when she arrived, I was like, oh no, what's this? Uh, this is not something that we're going to be able to do much with. Um, so we wormed her, actually wormed her twice. Uh, we treated her for liver fluke, just in case it was that. We gave her multivitamins. Uh, we got her onto her feet and... Metaphorically speaking As in pl Plenty of TLC um, And to be honest Not much of it worked She still remained lean And I was never holding out Much hope that she was actually Going to give birth However However everyone um, She has produced A lovely set of twins So our TLC eventually paid off She Got some condition on her eventually The cake The hay um, the kind of fantastic living conditions that she was provided eventually paid off and she's produced a lovely set of twins. Now, I know you're all asking, Farmer Ben, Farmer Ben, where is the second baby? <clears throat> well, not a good start for second baby because she's already escaped the pen and she's sitting down here. So one completely fine. Second one, we already have an escapee. <clears throat> Still soaking wet I mean they've just been born Literally or not Not Was it even an hour ago? I think maybe an hour ago They were born There we go She's quite happy with it um, So she has One little black one Which is around here That's where the stream started on And she's got Whoops I pulled my charger out there She has one little white one as well So she's got A nice set of each But that's not all that we've had today Four o'clock this afternoon There was a couple of supporters in um, I think Julie Chapman seen it And I don't know I didn't actually see who else is up with her um, Our second pygmy goat Gave birth This was actually our first This was our second So our first pygmy goat gave birth Now This little lady if you remember Was over at, at LP When we scanned them the first time Which was January time And she was scanned empty And it was a bit annoying I have to say because there was no reason for her to be empty. She was in good condition. 
Um, she'd had kids before, so there's absolutely no reason for it to be empty. So that's always really annoying for a farmer. So, yeah, just continued on with her, kept her in with the male, hoping that the male would eventually, um, eventually catch her and she would be okay. And she would produce a little baby. Fast forward, when was it the, the scanner was here? Six, seven weeks ago, the scanner came and lo and behold, she had a little baby in her. So her persistence worked. She eventually got caught by Bill, who's her male. And here's the result. I have to say it's not the most uh, flattering angle of the baby. Um, completely spark out. And I know why it has done this. I know why it's lying like this. It is because when I came up earlier, I was on stream to supporters. Its belly was so full of milk. It has been in for a souk. And it was so full of milk, it actually looked like a little barrel. So it's obviously in a bit of a food coma. Um, I'm just going to get up in a wee second, but it kind of pains me to try and wake it up because it looks so comfy. Do you not agree? Um, Linda says we've been waiting for you. I know, sorry Linda, I've been out slightly late. Uh, and Leslie sent 2,000 stars. Thank you so much, Leslie. There's loads of stars coming through in the stream tonight. Right, little one. Come on. Up we get. There we go, you Okay. There we go, everything's fine. <clears throat> so mum at the start wasn't just enamoured with the baby. She wasn't quite sure what was going on. She was. This is what she was doing, actually. Standing up here looking at it like, oh my word, what on earth is this? What have I produced and what am I going to have to deal with? As sometimes happens, she eventually calmed down. She started having a giving a little sniff and then she'd be looking in the air and licking and you're always on a winner at that point because you know that she's interested in, interested in actually licking it so nature's telling her she wants to lick it she just doesn't know where she wants to lick so I seen that happen and I thought do you know what we're going to be fine here baby's wanting something else to eat here I can hear it um, bleating away can you hear that as well so she eventually took to her baby it's definitely had you can actually see it's fat little belly See it sticking out just around that second black dot. And there's a good shake, so that's always good. So, yeah, she eventually took to it and everything was absolutely fine. It's had a good souk, it's had its colostrum, it's had its navel sprayed. And, uh, yeah, it's all good. It is all good. And, which is always a relief for the pygmies. You know what the pygmies are like. They can be a bit fickle. They can be a bit of a pain to get on their feet and get going. The mums sometimes are just not interested Crazy Cathy being the ideal candidate for that. Uh, we all know what happened with Crazy Cathy and Birdie, uh, where Crazy Cathy just did not take to it at all, which is rare. But at the start, they can be a bit, um, yeah, a bit moody with them. Wonky's gates open. Don't let me forget to shut that gate. Okay, everyone, don't let me forget to shut that gate. I just caught it in the corner of my eye. Whilst I was talking to you there, I looked round, and. Our little white one here was in for a souk, I think. Come on then, get on that teat. And I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it. It's making all the right noises for souking, but it's not actually souking. Oh, it's so frustrating to watch this, isn't it? There, there we go, that's us. And you want to say, you want to communicate with them and tell them, look, all you have to do is stop moving your head when it gets in your mouth stop moving your head but they just they haven't got the hang of it yet so they don't know there's a way looking around the back very yellow so it was a uh, it was about time it was out and it actually said to farmer connor it was born after six o'clock tonight i don't even know what time it was it must have been after half six tonight and it said to farmer connor uh, at four o'clock today i was like whoa look at the size of her bag where did that come from she can't be far away lo and behold a couple of hours later, there they arrived. I didn't think it'd be that quick, uh, but I guess there's no reason why not. Oh, there we go, we're trying to get in for a souk. Mum's not too keen. Maybe it doesn't like that side. I wonder if we need to milk that off. I need to hold that. Come here. Let me get it for a souk. This is going to test my reactions here, right? You get your hand right close and then you just want to go for it. There we go. See that for a catch. 
right mum you stand still and then you just what you have to do is just hold the horns and then let the baby get in hopefully she'll stop she'll stop spinning round and round because it's frustrating for the baby it uses up all its energy and mum is just being pig headed about it it's trying to suck from the back end which is I mean help me out here little one so the next bit of information whilst I hold this goat film read the comments hopefully try to and uh, and talk to you guys the next bit of information I need to get through is there is a poll going on tonight for Annie's baby we have been compiling suggestions now I'm going to try and get to these suggestions uh, try and remember these suggestions off the top of my head and I am multitasking quite a bit here so bear with me we have Oakley Sandy Daisy Me, Bindi and I'm missing one more. Oakley, Sandy, Daisy Me, Bindi, and help me out. There's one more. Farmer Fee, please send me a text and let me know that what that last one was. There was five options that you're going to have to choose from. That's four of them: Oakley, Sandy, Bindi, Daisy Me, and one more. Um, David says, "Are you doing the boy girl game? I am going to do the boy girl game right now." Uh, once this little one's found its way in for a souk. Um, so yeah, I've got one more name and I can't remember what it was now. Back. Anyway, doesn't matter. I will uh, I will get to, I will remember and you'll see the post just after we go off live. We'll get that ready. Farmer Fee, if you are on mods tonight, if you could uh, get that post ready as soon as you can and then when we come off live, everyone can get voting. So, right we won. Come on, you have to go on to the right side. Whilst we're on here, I know everyone loves this game. It's one of my favourite games as well. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One of my favourite games as well is the boy-girl game, where everyone puts a like for a, a boy and a love for a girl. Come on. if she, she can only move over so far before she hits the wall, and then the baby will have to get in for a suit. So I think we'll start on this pen. What do you think this little one is? I tried to move the camera a second ago because I think you could just about see what it was. So we've got... It's 8 o'clock right now. You've got till 5 past 8. Is that generous? That's maybe too long. You've got till 4 minutes past 8. I want like for a boy. Put a like symbol in the chat for a boy or a love for a girl. Just hit that reaction. Here we go. Here's everything coming up now. What do you think it is? Um. Daisy Me, Debbie says, love Daisy Me. Uh, Mary Krill sent 1,100 stars. Thank you, Mary. Um, mul multiple tasks in there tonight, Ben. Yeah, 100%, Jackie, I am doing that. Queenie, Queenie, that was it. Queenie, thank you, Helen. It was Queenie, that was the last one. Uh, I actually think there was Elizabeth, so there might have been six. Oakley, Sandy. I don't know where Sandy came from. Or Oakley, actually. It was, that was it. I can run through the list in my head now. We had um, Bindi, Daisy Me, Queenie, Elizabeth, Oakley and Sandy. Uh, Tracy says you just gave it away. What did I give away? I didn't, did I? I didn't say what it was. So like for boy, love for girl. We've got another couple of minutes. And the reactions are coming through now. Pam says, girl too pretty for a boy. Well, we'll soon find out. Daisy May is a lovely name, Anne says. Daisy May, it seems to be a lot of nice reactions for Daisy May. I am, of course, staying impartial. I don't get involved in this. I want you guys to decide. I want the popular public vote to decide, please. Uh, Kathy says, oh yes, caught you on live. Hi. Hi, Kathy. Uh, Debbie says she loves Queenie. Annie Oakley. Right, okay, that... So obviously this this Annie Oakley must be a famous person. Does, can anyone... Can anyone uh, tell me who Annie Oakley is? And apparently Sandy was Orphan Annie's dog. That's where that comes from. There we go. Tedious link on that one. Right, his baby had a little soup. It looks like its belly's a little fuller. Mum's going to have to learn to look at it. Uh, Annie Oakley, she is. I'm gonna have to. Oh, 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 oh! I've pressed the wrong button. Hold on, I'm trying to do it with my nose. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> there we go. I'm back. I was trying to scroll up my nose. I lost that comment because I've got one hand here, one hand scrolling the scrolling the comments. Um, Margaret says Queenie for Annie's baby. Lizzie after the Queen. Well, Elizabeth will probably get to Lizzie, won't it? If it was Elizabeth. Again, impartial. A favourite American sharpshooter in the 1800s, Jennifer says, is Annie Oakley. There we go. Wow, sharpshooter. Cool. Um, Yvonne says, I also like Bindi, so hard to choose now. Yeah, it could be quite hard. Again, keep them coming up. Like for boy, love for girl. And we'll get this little one revealed. Let's see who can go the... Get the full three right tonight. What a way to start your weekend. Get the full... Uh, the full set Three out of three Annie Oakley is famous in Wild West Okay, I've never heard of her before I have to say I'll admit that I have never heard of it Right, I think we've got like 30 seconds left Have we? No, we've just turned uh, 12, uh, 804 Susie, uh, Susan, thank you for the 500 stars Okay, right We're going to reveal it Baby's in getting a souk now Everyone seems quite happy We have A little Girl. So the first one is a little girl. Congratulations to everyone who voted love. There's still more coming through. Any after this moment will not be counted, but your votes may still be charged. That's what they always say on the TV, isn't it? Any calls made now, your votes may not be counted, but you may still be charged. Of course it's not. Um, Sharon says, Hi, Farmer Ben, watching from Oz. Hi, Sharon. Sharon, are you a member of our Aussie midwife group? That is growing exponentially. Uh, Cindy's just sending information about Annie Oakley. Thank you for that. Right, that'll do. My back's killing me. Whew. That was not easy. Right, on to these two. Here's Farmer Pete coming. He can give me a hand. Good job. Right, on to these two. What are we going to go first? White or black? Let's go for let's go for the little black one. We have we're going to do three minutes for this. We're just going to go firing through them. Like for boy, love for girl, the little black one. Put them all in the chat. Hit that reaction. Like for boy, love for girl. Do that for me. I'd be very, uh, I would be very delighted if you done that for me. Sound like Ivan Pete. Very delighted. That's what you would say. Say hello, Farm Pete. Oh, sorry, I'm going on now. Because I was hoping to use your phone tonight, but then you weren't here, so I had to use mine. And uh, I have, we've been sent in a, a rockin' cool magnetic charger. And I was going to use that, so it's just a phone case and the charger bolts on the back. Right. Uh, and I put the case on, but it's for the wrong sort of iPhone. Oh. I know, how annoying. And it would work really, really well, I think. Uh, do you have the mics? Because I could probably use the mics tonight. Did uh, you bring them up with you? I did. Okay. Babies are in getting a, getting a suit, so that's good. Uh, you can do You can do it, it's up to you Right, like for boy, love for girl You've got another another 90 seconds to get it in There's about 100 of them just came up I've seen Everyone's saying boy I think boy's taking the lead in this one They're sitting on the shelf Pete above the sink Like for boy, love for girl There's 2,100 people in the stream tonight Which is absolutely brilliant To see our new little babies Um. Judy sent 500 stars, thank you Judy And Sue sent 500 as well Pam sent 50, Gail sent 100 Sherry sent 100, you're all overly generous guys Thank you um, Let me get down to my comments here Amy says black one girl um, Thank goodness Farmer Pete is coming I was very worried with no club this morning um, Yeah, it's just because things are so busy with the the strawberry festival at the minute That was the only reason he wasn't on I think But we'll find out Straight from the horse's mouth By horse I mean Pete um, And I'm sure he'll tell you Why he wasn't on this morning I think it's just Too much going on um, Not obviously Never too much going on For you guys But I think he had just Completely ran out of time This morning Right I think we're ready to reveal Last 10 seconds Like for boy Love for girl 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 It is a little boy. So you have one boy and one girl. Now this is going to fling everyone because I probably, if I'd said that's a little girl, 
everyone would have voted for boy for the next one. But now what are you going to do? So let me know in the chat. Have you guessed right for the first two? So we've got our little white one here who's still getting licked clean. This one's had a lot more licking. It must be because that one's out. See how it's looking a lot drier. Um, and this one looks quite wet still. That must be the reason. Uh, Georgie, thank you for the 500 stars. How many babies, Cecil says? Uh, three babies today. Three beautiful little babies that we're very excited about. Uh, really happy they're all out nice and healthy. Mum fair loves her, look. She fair loves her. Okay, white one. It's eight minutes past eight, our time. We're going to go till 11, minute, uh, 11 minutes past. Like for boy, love for girl. There's loads coming through already. There's loads of boys coming through. Is there any girls to support this? Any love hearts coming to support this? Like for boy, love for girl. You've only got two minutes left to get this in. If you're, if you are two for two, let me know. Jasperita Buxenhausen, my favourite Jamaican living in Berlin, sent 500 stars. Thank you, Jasperita, for that. Um, and. Marie McIver says Got first two right And has just subscribed Thank you Anne Thank you for supporting us Looking forward to see you In the subscribers page Carol says Got two right so far And her second name is Perfect So there you go Perfect by name Perfect by nature We're just waiting Pete For the Like for boy Love for girl No one knows what to do with this Because we've got one boy One girl so far What one are we on? We're on little white one here You can't use those Because you've got this charger because you've got no charge left in your phone no but I'm saying I think I've got enough charge now what do you reckon well <laughs> there's a lot of girls coming up now another one minute that's all we've got is one minute get them in get the votes in it's my favourite game to play this it's quite fun isn't it they think very carefully everybody well there's some people going two for two I got the boy right policy as well if you can get two out of three, at least you're in the majority. Don't forget the gate. It's been 1,000 comments. Can you get the gate for his feet? Right, okay, everyone. The gate is being closed. We're all good for little Wonky's pen. Oh, check little Wonky walking out, walking there. Do you see her? She is so cool. Do you see that? She just walked straight over there on both feet. Talking of the queen, little Wonky, she is. Look, look. That is excellent. That's the best I've ever seen her walking. Look at that. It's straightened up as well. Come on. What a result. You know, maybe, hear, maybe hear my excitement here. I'm over the moon with that. What a great result. Walk back over there, Pete, to see if she'll wander. Let's see if she'll follow Pete. I'd like her to follow her. See that walk. I've never seen her since she's been born walk as good as that. I'm so excited. It's made my night. Because the amount of work we have put into Little Wonky. Uh, she didn't want... Yep, there you go. She's using that. Look at that. Come on. So excited. Good girl, Wonky. She's rocking cool, Pete. Yes, so excited about that. A little win, we'll take the W. That is, there's been a, so much work went into Little Wonky. So many vet visits, so many little injections for her. It's just great. Right, we're at 20, 11 minutes past. I said we're going to announce. Beth says stars for Wonky. Thank you, Beth. Uh, and Beth is actually uh, our Dalscon Midwives. Um, in charge of our Dalscon Midwives fan page. Beth does a lot for us, so really? thank you, Beth. Yep, she is. Beth Viano. Great name as well. Uh, so, right. On to the press and matter. For those of you two out of two, I know you're on the edge of your seat holding your breath. Lily Russell has got two right. And she's saying this one's a girl. Oh, Lily. Well, I can, I can inform you, are you that ready? you are incorrect. You've got two out of three. Heartbreaking stuff. Fell at the final hurdle. We have two boys here. Twin boys. This little one's looking a bit sad, isn't it? It got out of the pen. But we have two boys. So congratulations. Let me know if you got all three correct. Congratulations if you did. If you didn't, better luck next time. <laughs> Everyone's sending stars for Wonky. I Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, Do you know what? what? Yeah, I know. I know. But that was, that was amazing. I've never seen her walk like that. All of a sudden, she's just decided. She's off and running. Yes. And... 
going to fill, fill you in on a little uh, health care that we're doing on them earlier. The, some of the females. Uh, so, Little Wonky and her sister. What's Little Wonky's sister's name, Pete? I'm sure we've named her. Um, <laughs> there's a wee bit of debate over this. What was it? Um. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Are you going to say something bad here that I'm going to have to tell you off for? No. <laughs> we did suggest on a certain club we should call them Winky and Wonky. No, we can't call Winky. Because <laughs> there's a lot of comments from Glas our Glaswegian friends up the road saying you can't call it Winky. No, you, I mean, you can. <laughs> but it just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry. But uh, what can we call Wonkies? Holly, thank you for the stars for Wonky. Um, Look at that, that's amazing That is amazing, just all of a sudden she's just got it Here we go, look, come on then, come and see me Look, 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 look. come on That's a girl, there we go Good girl, it's a wee limp there, but that's okay I never thought she was going to walk like that I never thought either So you're putting these bikes on? Uh, yes Debbie sent 1200 stars, thank you Debbie For Blinky. wonky Blinky. Blinky. Said. I thought I, had, I thought we had talked about this before in the in the chat. What we we're going to call her? There you go. And she loves a head itch as well. Farmer Connor gives her some good head itches. In fact, most days, like she gets the head moving around. She loves a head itch. Like Linda says. <laughs> Look at size of your head. Look compared to my hand. Linda says, Linda says. Bless her heart. She's done so well, hasn't she? She really has. She has. Linda says her name's Little Wonky's sister. Well, that's what we do. That, we do refer to her as that so quite that often. Is very, very true. Afterbird. Oh, nice. I just. I'm just getting mic'd up here, everyone. Can you put that on? You might need to put Where that a bit higher. It's here. It's, just, it's not quite done right. Okay, can you hear us everyone? You should be able to. We should be rocking and rolling. Debbie, thank you for the 500 stars. I've still got my lead hanging out my pocket. How is that? She's a sweetheart, Connie says. She sure is. Tonky. She is a, a superstar. We've got a Tonky and a Wonky. No, there was something we... Sure, it'll maybe come to me. Uh, so, right. We have covered a uh, Pathetic Polly. Pathetic Polly, so named. If you've just joined us, Pathetic Polly... Named that because she was kind of pathetic when she first arrived. She was really skinny. She didn't want to put on any condition. And she was just a bit pathetic. Look at crazy Cathy. Look. <laughs> Who got just, there's no need for her to go on like that. Like, why? Like, <laughs> why is she going on like that and just scraping the ground like she's a bull? Who got out of the pen, by the way? This little one here. How did that happen? Because that's not going to be good. I wonder if it just crawled through those bars, though. Oh. Uh. How are we going to sort that? We'll need to get some of those uh, lamp ends. The solway lamp ends and put them round so they can't get in. How annoying. Marty says, okay, what's wrong with Winky? Thank you. So you want to call it Winky? Well, it's not up to me. Okay. This is a democratic farm. We all get a vote. Can't hear you very good, everyone's saying. Oh no. Can you hear us okay? Put on my are these the new mics? I prefer the older ones, lol. No, these are the old ones. I think we'll just take this off, Pete. You reckon? Well, well we've just... had good Because she's crazy, Becky says, yeah, hundred percent. Correct. Correct. Look at her. She's just crazy. Just the way she's going on. So the news that I have on Crazy Cathy and Fanta is the sound is bad now. Right, we're taking it off. The sound's no good. There we go. Job done. That's it. Decided. The sound's not good. Right, we're back. So the news that I have on Crazy Cathy and Fanta. Pete, could you get up the messages, please, uh, for the Dulscon messages on your phone? Yeah. Thanks. Just so I can read it out. The news that I have on Crazy Cathy and Fanta is, now I find this fascinating, I'm sure you all find it pretty fascinating as well. So her old, uh, Fanta and Cathy, and interestingly enough, Haggis's ex-owner, 
so the owner who owned them before us they all came together i this was a few years ago now and i didn't recall haggis coming with them but she obviously did uh, it might have been at two different stages anyway farmer joe went and picked them up so that's why i don't have the recollection <clears throat> it turns out pete yeah. are you listening uh, fanta and crazy kathy are twins where did this come, when did this come out? Fanta and Crazy Cathy are twins. We're looking for someone called Katie. Uh, I didn't know about this. Yeah? Looking for somebody called Katie. Yeah. Uh, Katie Cannon, that's it. Sent. Right. <clears throat> okay, so Fanta and Crazy Cathy are twins. So that explains why they're both kind of crazy. Um, they were born in 2017. So they're five years old. Um. Ronster just messaged, said, hope your fish and chips are better than mine. I think his were rubbish. <laughs> um, they were born in 2017. And Fanta, interestingly enough, you know how she came to us with a phantom pregnancy? <laughs> Loads of shocked faces coming through for the twins. I know, I thought the same. Fanta Fair loves you, Peach. I don't think she'd let me do that. She likes her beard stroke, doesn't she? Which is a weird thing for a lady to like, I guess. <laughs> Oh, it cracks me up. There's nothing wrong with that. She's a magnificent beast. Um, she has had a set of triplets before. Fanta has had a set of triplets before. At least one set of triplets. They came to her previous owner in November 20, 2018 in Kid. And had three kids in March 2019. Fanta did. So how are you finding all this out? Because this is from our old our old owner. Really? She said, yeah, she came and talked to me in the park yesterday. Yeah. And then in Mar in January 2020 had three kids again. So she's had two sets of triplets. Wow. Um then scanned in kid in May 2021, just before we got her. So she came in May 2021 to us. So she'd been here for just over a year. Um and she was scanned in kid, but obviously there was no, I don't know what happened with the scan, but she never ever had a kid with us or we never seen her aborting or anything like that. So a mystery. She obviously had a phantom pregnancy because there was no milk in her bag. It was just water. Because um, we actually got the, we were told she was in kid by Katie, which was obviously scanned and correct. And we got the vet out after a while like, what is going on here? And he said, no, it's just a phantom pregnancy. So we don't know what happened with that. However, she has had it. She actually said that she had triplets with her, her owner before Katie. So she, in theory, she's had three sets of triplets. Um, and she is five years old. So I think our first owner who, who bred Fanta, the first owner who bred Fanta must have bred with her really young. Which I don't like. I don't, I don't like that at all. Um... But she's grown up to be a perfect size and stuff, so it's not affected her growth or anything, which it can sometimes. It can stunt her growth if they go in uh, in lamb too quickly, or in kid, sorry, too quickly. It can stunt their growth because all the goodness that they should be growing with is going into the kid. Uh, so it totally makes sense. So the information on Crazy Cathy, so Fanta, Crazy Cathy are sisters. Would you ever say that, Pete? Never. 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 Uh, the information on Crazy Cathy. Now, let me call up my notes here. This is groundbreaking stuff. It's like, it's like a journalist who's going through his sources. Um, Crazy Cathy is born August 2017, obviously the same time as, uh, as Fanta. Had two kids with their previous owner, August 2018. I ca that can't be right. Because they would need to breed with them in fa in, within five months. That cannot. That can't possibly be right because they wouldn't get. They wouldn't take. I don't believe that's. I. I reckon. Would that be right? Yeah. It w yeah, that's right. Because they'd be in kid for, for five months, so they would need to breed with them. When they were like six months old. No way. Not. No way. So. Something's not right. Anyway, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, came to Katie in 2018, November, in kid with two. Had them in February 2019. See, even that doesn't add up. August to February. Did she like them if she had these 
she did. She told me she did. So she's had two sets of twins. I'm not. I'm disregarding the first owner because I don't think that's right. I don't believe it. Um, she had two sets of kids with Katie, and so did Fanta. So Sa- Fanta with Katie, which is what we're going off, is reliable, and we know firsthand she's had two sets of triplets before. And then she had her phantom pregnancy, and then she had Pepsi and Sprite, obviously left with Pepsi. Kathy had two sets of twins in February 2019, and then in January 2020. And she was completely fine with both sets. Totally fine with both sets. That's what I said to her. I was like, Are you sh- was, she, was she fine when she'd kidded before? Yep, she was totally fine. So, quite fascinating, isn't it? Didn't really expect that. Um, and I also didn't expect them to be sisters. But then again, their shapes aren't too different, are they? I know Crazy Cathy's obvi- obviously missing a horn from some crazy act that she's done. But uh, it just it just fits her personality missing one horn, doesn't it? But yeah, you can, I mean, yeah, they're totally different colours, but their shapes are the same, they're the same size, so yeah, you can maybe see it. Um, And then Haggis, so we've got information on Haggis as well, because Haggis came with them, came from the same farm. Uh, She had a weather kid in June 2020, um, and then she was with the Billy till she left to come to us. So Haggis has only had one baby before, and it was a weather kid, so that's a castrated male kid, or what, well... She had a male kid. Katie had obviously a history that put a ring around it. So Haggis was an experienced mother and she's done a good job of uh, neep and tatty. Uh, but yeah, fascinating with Fanta and Crazy Cathy that they're sisters. Would anyone have believed that? Um, very fascinating news, Bridget says. Uh, love Fanta, where is Pepsi? Uh, she's standing looking at him right now. He's fighting in that pen. Like... Here he is. He's having a good scrap. Look how big he's getting. He's got his heckles up. He's not too happy at the minute. And there's Jesse's kids, Adam and Eve, behind that. He's been a bit of a nuisance. Pepsi? Yeah, you can see how big he's getting. Fanta's doing such a great job of him. Having a bit of rough and tumble tonight. Uh, But they're doing great. Well, we go down, Pete, and see a birdie. What? Birdie. Birdie, yeah. Aye. We'll do these two. Uh, well, they're in Sukin. They're in Sukin. I've seen them in Sukin. We had their Sukin on on stream. Thanks for tuning in, and watching. I was tuned in. I did. I could hear my own voice as you're heading up the hill, actually. Um. So no breeding between Birdie and Pepsi? No, unfortunately not. We will not be breeding between Birdie and Pepsi. Um, And also, Birdie's baby is Crazy Cathy's, so they've actually got the same dad. So they'd be blood tied with that one. Um, Remember, you need to always think of the bloodlines as well and whose whose dad it is, not just the mum's, whose dad it is. Um, Are we going to name Birdie yet? Oh, Birdie's going to be called Birdie now. It has to stick, doesn't it? has to stick. Same beards. Let me check. Yes. Same beards, Pete. Crazy Cathy and Fanta. Do you think Crazy Cathy would let you stroke her beard? If you want a, a horn in the eye. Look at her wee creased ear. Look. It's folded over. It's like she's someone's doing, ironed she? it. She's doing well. She's a good girl. She's, I'm so impressed, I'm so pleased with her tonight That made my night Seen her wandering around like that I mean it's not perfect by any means But it's certainly a lot better Or it's a million times better than she's ever been She's chewing a bit of that silage She's enjoying it That's <laughs> not Annie I'm coming, I'm coming Right Annie, let me ask you She's looking at me when I'm talking Hello Sadie, hello darling I know, we don't forget about you, don't you worry. Should a baby coming soon. Right, so we have in the poll that is coming up straight after. Uh, I think Farmer Fees on mods. Uh, and should we get in the hopefully getting the poll ready for everyone to vote on? You'll vote with your reaction, not with your comment, with your reaction on the poll which will be going on after the stream. Pete, the names, do you know what the names are? I did hear them, but I 
Uh, we can only have. We have a. We have Queenie. We have Bendy. We have DZ Me. Bendy, where's Bendy come from? Bindi came from Bing and Candy put together. Um, and we have Oakley and Sandy because there's an Annie Oakley. Do you know who Annie Oakley is? Yeah, yeah there you go. Do it again. Do it again. You can do it again because I wasn't on camera. Do it again. Yes, you are. Do it. Go for it. Annie Oakley, Annie, get your gun. Same person. Annie, get your gun. Do it. Annie, get your gun. No, he's not going to do it. He's doing the sharpshooters there. Um, so Annie Oakley and Sandy is apparently Annie Orphan's dog. Which was like, it's a tedious link. I don't know how that came about. Did you know about this? I didn't. But there's, there was an awful lot of Petras coming through. Are you wanting Petra? <laughs> Are you wanting Petra? Is that... All I'm saying. Now you've flung it. All, all up in the air, in the air. Is like all I'm saying is I want named after me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I didn't say that. No, I d did not say that. Can you go and give Annie a cuddle, please, Pete? Want She's wanting to say hello. Uh, poor old uh, Sadie's not getting any attention. Someone was asking, does Crazy Kathy wear a collar? She does wear a collar. She came with her collar, and she likes her collar, so we just leave her collar on there. She's quite happy with it. I know, I'm wondering, do you think we could let Sadie in there? I think we should. Um, There's no reason Sadie needs to be in there now. Is it worth trying it tonight? No, not tonight, no. Maybe tomorrow. But I think Sadie's very quiet, she's very docile. I'm sure she'd be more than happy. She's been having a real good munch in the silage here. You can see it on the floor. You're a good girl, aren't you? Is Never there mind a crazy Cathy. What about this young lady here? Uh, Connor tried and failed your challenge Did you see it on yeah, supporters? Pathetic. On the supporters group He tried to He tried to get a Oh There's Ace and Spade in there For something to eat The, uh, the challenge he tried was to, the, So the challenge was Farmer Pete put on the page Farmer Connor Challenge for you um, Take a selfie with Scary Mary. Scary Mary And try not to get uh, Try not to get bitten and he failed because he tried to take a selfie and she tried to bite his ear. So it didn't work out well for Farmer Connor. But she's nice, isn't she, Pete? Oh, she's lovely. She doesn't mean to bite you. No. She just does. Well, she doesn't mean to bite you, but she kind of does. But ah, well, she's fully intending to bite you, but she doesn't mean to bite you. I was feeding him a carrot the other morning. Lara, thank you for the 500 stars. She would got my finger clean off, like right in her mouth. Fortunately, it was at the back between the back teeth and the... And the front teeth, you know, where there's kind of where there's no teeth. Is it just a way of saying thanks? Do you think? No, she's got the carrot. That was. <laughs> oh, do you not? Were you were you not in the process of giving her it? No, I was giving it to the donkeys. Oh right, and I, then she came over and bit you. I didn't know she was. That's hilarious. <laughs> she was back. looming large in the background. I'm gonna get you, Pete. Come on, Kathy. Hey, scary Mary. Sorry. <laughs> Crazy Kathy in the head here. Come on, scary Mary. Little Elise. Heading around. Quite happy. Did you know um, Spade's not ringed? No. Didn't. Because you'd said that ne you'd ring them all. Never. Never said that. No? Neither is... <sighs> Who's this behind me, please? They're digging into my... <laughs> digging into my heel, my calf. I'm just waiting for a bit of pain. Um... Yeah, so I think tomorrow we'll maybe try Sadie in there. I think she'll be okay. I think she'll be fine. Yeah. You know what? You know what else is looming? I know our strawberry festival's not over yet. No, it is not. Full day tomorrow. We're looking forward to seeing everyone. And if you haven't got your tickets online, dalscoandfarmfund.co.uk. Have you seen the weather? Look, it's just like... It's Glorious, be, isn't it? It's going to be a representation of today. It's 20 degrees tomorrow. Oh, no. Farmer Connor's thinking about not coming out of his room. <laughs> He's, He's going to sit with a fan on right in his face, I think. Anyway, last day tomorrow of the Strawberry Festival. And then it's going to be... Um, it's not going to belong to our sheep shearing Yeah, event. sheep shearing event. I see the wool, a lot of the wool starting to come out of them, mm -hmm. which is a good indication of they're almost... 
Almost ready to, ready go. to go. When did we clip them last year? Does anybody know when our sheep shearing event was last year? I've not seen any memories come up, so I don't think it's been yet. Um, I'm sure it was kind of mid east June. Aye, it's normally about mid June, I think. So in a couple of weeks, two, two or three weeks. And bearing in mind, uh -huh. somebody's going on their holidays next week. Where are you going? This is news to me. That's not news to you. Mm, yes. Yep. You've never confirmed anything. I'm oh, sorry. You are. Please may I go on holiday? You may. Thank you. You've got so, eight hours. So by the time we get back, um, it's what's... Um, the Monday's the 6th, believe it or not. And then the time we get back, it's the 13th, so we're kind of... Or 14th-ish. It's going to be mid-June, so it's almost going to be time to rock and roll. Yeah. So we'll need to speak to George. Um, we'll need to get organised because this this is where we take to our sheep shearing. This is where we did it last year in the poly tunnel up here, and then we can stream it all on Twitch, and then everybody can stand up in the viewing gallery. And uh, Pete gets on his mic. So we'll have to get Duke Kaboom with his mic. Well, Herbert's offered PA services. To oh well, there we go. Up. Here's a sound engineer. Uh, that's after if he ever comes back from London. Yep, could be doubtful. Could um, be. Just so as we can do a wee bit of commentating. So, looking forward to that. So, that'll be our next big event. I love the sheep yeah. shearing event. It's great. Um, and a lot more, lot more sheep this year. Uh, Thomas, is, we have a lot more. We've got a lot more to do. And there's a couple more extra angoras to shear as well. Oh, and um, baby Anita, baby Agnes. Yeah. We're all need sheared this year. So, um, a lot of your favourites. And um, Bouncer and... Zoomer. Zoomer and, and Zoomer's mum. Good name, Zoomer's mum. Okay. okay. Um, Thomas is actually asking, is the meerkat baby okay? A okay at the minute, yes. Everyone's fine, yeah. yep, he's doing really well. He's, or uh, she's doing really well, sorry. Lots of people out. Um, he was getting lots of attention today, is what I'm saying. She was getting lots of attention today, is what I was trying to say. She, oh, a lot. Oh, there's people around all day. Um, I'm just going to Annie some hair. When do you cut the grass? Farmer across oh. from me has been at it all week. Yeah, it depends what kind of fodder you're making. Our we've we don't need all the land we've got here at Dulce. So How we... weird! You just got a stars party right now. No way. I've wow. never had that happen before. So thank you guys. Anyway, we rent some of our land out to our our dairy farmer neighbour, Matt Gemmel, uh, and he's actually just cut the grass tonight. Uh, on the fields that we rent them, he's going to make silage out of it. Um, we did this the other morning. We explained the difference between silage, haylage, yep. and hay. Uh, and what we generally need is haylage, where the grass is drier than silage, but not as dry as hay. Uh, midway, midway, so isn't it? We need three, four, five a push of good sunny, dry days. Um, but the grass also needs to be quite mature, and it, it's quite early stages yet it's more like uh, if the dairy farmers are making it for kind of high quality silage and that's not what we want for donkeys and goats and whatnot it needs to be a wee bit harder saying that we have got one field that we need for grazing uh, that is a wee bit more mature than the rest and if we did get a spell I did look at the weather tonight how's it looking it's to rain midweek next week nah. and I'm away sorry about that Pete likes to cut the hay when he's here um so yeah, we just need some good, hot, long days, and, and we'll nab one field. Because um, we're running low in fodder ourselves, aren't we? Well, we're, we're using this silage up, that's why it's that colour. Just pan round. Yeah, sorry. Um, which, we were running out, um, we didn't think we were going to be able to feed this these silage bales, uh, which is a lot moister than hay. that word? Yep, carry on. Moister. No, it's not. More moist. It was more moist than the hay. Uh, but if, And we thought it was maybe going to make them a bit loose, if you know what we mean. But it hasn't, and they love it. And it's great because they don't need as much um, oh. water as well. Um, when hay, hay's, or haylage is very dry, it makes them thirsty, so they drink a lot more. Uh, silage is full of moisture, uh, so they don't need as much we don't need to carry them as much water. But it's a pain for us to work with. That's the only downside well, to it. Well, I think we've managed not too bad, haven't we? Not too bad. It's kind of mechanical. Though. Yeah, yeah. Um, they love it, look. Look at these two. Yeah, they love it. It's I easy to eat for... Oh, what's wrong with this one's foot? They just got bashed uh, a second ago. 
Right. Anyway. You know, Fanta passed one the other morning, and that's what where the sore legs came from. Stupid um, Fanta. Um, so people are asking about. Hopefully, that's cleared up the the grass kind of situation. We're hoping to get at. Basically, we're hoping to get at it in the next. Well, if, if the weather was right, possible. we would cut some. We've got three fields. We kept an extra two fields this year for ourselves, and um, because we need more fodder, we've got more livestock. Um, so we've got twenty. We've got about 33 acres in total out of three fields to cut. Nine acres first, uh, and then we can, once we get the grass off that, we'll use that for grazing for the sheep. Uh, and then the other two fields, hopefully, maybe in a week or 10 days after that. Here endeth the lesson. I'll shut up now, I'll go and get something. <laughs> no, but I didn't know if you were finished or not. I was waiting for you to round it off. Here, I take it that was Pete rounding it off. Here endeth the lesson. A weird way to round it off, but I like it. Unconventional way, and I like the way around it off. Oh, Annie, you can move when I come through the pen. I'm coming to see Sadie's bag because everyone's asking about Sadie, how she's doing, how's her bag, and <sighs> hard to tell, really. Hello, little one. Hello. Hello. Are you saying a lot of it? Right, everyone, get a good look what you're going to vote when the poll goes up, please. Isn't she gorgeous? Aren't you? Yes. You come and give me a wee hug. You come and give me a wee hug. Oh no, here comes Annie. And it beat me up. Uh, I don't know if you all seen the the video. There's a lot of views on the video of Annie when she first seen me coming back from the <coughs> from my holiday. And uh, she was so delighted and she was so proud to show me her little baby who is coming along nicely with her little whiskers look. Her little beard. She's just perfect and she's making a really good job. Is she attacking you, Pete? I'm saying, is, is that not just a stunning foal that she's produced? It's a, a magnificent specimen of a donkey. It is. Uh, I spe it's a she's just perfect. Just perfection. Did we tell you the story? Look at the little eyes. That almost made the wrong call on boy and girl. I actually came up and triple check today because Fee was saying you'd said girl and then you're like no it's definitely a boy and then you said no it's a girl in case it is a bit of a pain to tell with the donkeys I have to say look at this I mean I know I it's so cool nice. isn't it the, t the five strands of pure white hair in the middle of its head it loves a little I'm bit of attention I'm not either but it's fine we can see by it I don't <laughs> I don't know what it is about the beard I don't know why it's there uh, kind of weird Kind of weird. Uh, Dar says that was a precious video. Welcome you back and showing off her baby. I know, I know. She was so excited. Such a beauty. She is. She. She's she, her with no name. She's lovely. Little Petra. Now, oh, let me no, I'm going to get in trouble for that, and then they're going to say, "Oh, the farmers always swear." No. Don't buy it. Can I be honest? Yeah. I'm not overly keen on the Petra. Not because it's like <laughs> Farmer Pete. I prefer the other names. Okay. Um, but we can agree to disagree. But, but I love that it's going to. Uh, rather, it's us naming her that it's going to a vote. But you're trying to rig the vote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Update on Sadie, please, Pete. What's your thoughts? Give us some. Let me have a look. Go and have a go and have a little look see. Um, we're going to update you all on Birdie as well. We're going to nip down quickly straight after this. Farmer Pete's on Let's see if we can get a little look stream. Mm. <laughs> I've got someone trying to give me a hand. Nah, I'm not seeing any bag there yet. <sighs> look who's came. The thing was, I'm not seeing any bag. Annie's, Annie's. You could see a prominent bag there, but when when Annie went, I mean, she was almost a a, a slam dunker. Yeah, because she dropped, and she was acting weird for a couple of days, isn't it? Oh, more, almost a week, and then you could see the bag forming, but I can't see Sadie being. No, nah, don't think she's near yet. He said. He said. Yeah, right. famous last words. Yeah. Right, are we done in here? Yeah, I'm 
let's go because can we nip oh look at the wee baby chasing you around the pen <laughs> so she's going to have a name tomorrow night cool yeah very cool I'm excited to get her named Um, what do we think that one looks like it could do a tube feed after the yeah. it just looks like it doesn't it might be okay she's still working away with it right quickly Pete because we've been on for ages down to the workshop we go I'll go over this way there's Phantom Pepsi well, it's, I'm just going to show them you don't need to come if you want to finish off up here ok what do you want to do I don't know what's happening Uh, Leanne says Farmer Pete helped birth her alive He did, he sure did uh, We need to see Misty Blue and Birds We're just going to show you I mean it's quarter to nine And we're still wandering about working It's been a long day But we're nearly there Do you think that'll need tube fed Pete? It was in, get it was in getting a sick. I've seen it The stream seen it as well Right. <coughs> oh, bless you. Here we go. Here they are. Right, little Misty Blue and Birdie. I had Birdie out um, because she's limping again. And she's not too bad, don't worry. Uh, but I had little Birdie out, seeing how she was walking around on the concrete. And once I removed her from the trailer she misty blue was absolutely furious she was yelling and shouting and she was so concerned eh, the little birdie had been missing so they're gonna have to stay together forever they're never gonna be able to move anywhere never and they also have a little friend now the little friend is not happy this is their little friend and she was in the pen today eh, with uh, up in the celebrity pen actually and I'd seen to Farmer Connor oh that, that one up there uh, she's not looking too happy I need to make sure she's getting some cake so uh, we got a little pen set up so she could get some cake uh, and she wasn't being hassled and then today she was just looking worse and worse so we brought her down here she's had some cake she's had something to eat I've seen her eating hay uh, so she was doing all the right things but she's just not happy at all um, I think her mum has decided not to feed her and it's just kind of made her fail uh, within a couple of days. So, yeah, we're kind of concerned about her. Hopefully, she's just going to be a friend for Misty Blue and Birdie. She's kind of too old to get in the bottle now. Just too old for that. So, yeah. It's up in the air on that one. We're going to have to see what she can do. She is, she is eating cake, which is the good news. That'll help her. I know, I can hear you. I can hear you. Are you ready, Pete? Um, so yeah, Misty Blue is not a fan of when Birdie gets out. Uh, she doesn't like it. Does not like being separated. I know, look, look, look. She's hungry. Watch this. She'll she'll act like this. We'll bring a bottle with milk out, and she'll look at it like, nah, nah, nah. I'm not actually bothered anymore. Now that I think about it, what do you think? You have yours. Take about a hundred years to try and drink it. Um. Chris says you've not really mentioned the Strawberry Festival. The Strawberry Festival is going great. There's been two really busy days. Really busy. It's looking like it's going to be busy tomorrow. There is some tickets uh, on the website. I have to be careful what I say, obviously. Some tickets on the website. And we're looking forward to another busy day tomorrow. So um, if you haven't got your tickets, you can get them... Yeah, I can't say anymore because we'll, we'll get put in jail um, and the video will get taken down. So, yeah, online, Dallas Gone Farm Fun, online, um, and you can get them for tomorrow. So we're very excited to welcome everyone and uh, you should see the food that is going out. It is magnificent. Waffles, strawberry sundaes, strawberry with cream. Oh, man. 
lovely. And just the strawberry cups themselves are just delicious. So we've got enough strawberries. There's plenty of strawberries. If anyone from local area fans some strawberries, call in tomorrow. Uh, it's your last chance to get your um, blackie side strawberries, so call in and see us. We've got a few raspberries left as well, but very few raspberries. Um, yes, Vivian, we did have enough strawberries. Yes, we did, thankfully. Um, Rachel says you need to show us Misty Blue and Birdies Out. Have you seen Misty Blue and Birdies Out, Pete? Hates, yes. it, hates it. Yes. Hates it. Here you go, little one. No, here, look. No, this is ours. Oh, right. There you go. Look. Look, told you. I told you she should do that. I told the stream she would do that. How's her leg tonight? Uh, yeah, she's not wanting to use it, unfortunately. There we go. Um, Going at it like a little trooper, isn't she? Beautiful sight. Just talking about the strawberries. Uh, <coughs> they're actually sweeter. The strawberries are actually sweeter today than they were yesterday. I know. I thought that as well. Seems must be something to do with the the sugars settling on them, or them being slightly more uh, ripe. Ripe. Right, I don't know, but oh, they're like sweet nectar. Did you, would you believe it if I told you Adam was eating a punt of strawberries earlier? No, Adam eat. No. Adam and eating. No way. And Connor, he was down in some strawberries as well. He was just standing every time he ate one. Oh, delicious. Then he ate another. Oh, that's absolutely lovely. Then he ate another. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like okay, we get the picture. I mean, I'm not a big strawberry person unless they're um, perfection, but they were perfect. Now, we're not trying to bum this up and sell it too much, but honestly... Don't say that word, or we'll get in jail. I didn't, um, say, I didn't say So, it. who was it that said that there? So, Kim says, how about a bucket of water for these three? Maybe the new one is a bit dehydrated. This is their water bucket over here. They don't need a lot of, but, lot of water, but we keep it in this little uh, cup so they don't knock it over um, or they don't fall in it. Um, don't fall in it, more like. Yeah. And there's plenty of water in there for them, so they don't empty it very fast at all. Remember, they get... Look what they're doing. They're drinking just now. So they're drinking liquid just now, but we keep the supplementary water in there as well. So. How many rascals jumped that? Has she? There we go. She won well. Good girl. Well done. You grow up big and strong. Look at that wee fat belly. So they have got water. Right, what are we going to do with this? Um, can the one in the corner have a cuddle so we can see it, Pete? Come on, Come on, it was up eating hay a second ago. So you see it's a lot bigger than the others. That's because it's been left on with its mum. And it's probably a bit older as well. I don't think that's going to suck from a bottle. I think it's too old to go on a bottle. Oh yeah, Farmer Ben, you big clown. Uh, what names could we call him? <laughs> you big what? Uh, how old is the other wee one? Could be six weeks. Could be six weeks. The problem that we've got with it is mum has disowned it and its marks just came off. So it's really difficult to actually... This is the trouble with them. They'll keep them for weeks and then suddenly just... That's it, isn't it? They're just done with it. That's that's what they do. That's a boar goat thing. Um, Heather says, FYI, I love my Miracle t-shirt. Thanks, Heather. Brilliant, Heather. Glad you love it. Um, Birdie eats so well now. I know she does. Look at Misty Blue taking about a year and a half to drink hers. <laughs> Birdie's like, oh, I hate so much. Oh, I can't have any more. You tell everybody Misty Blue and Birdie were out today, seeing everybody? Yeah, you can come to, if you're coming tomorrow to the farm, sh Strawberry Festival, uh, Misty Blue and Birdie will be out around, what, half three normally they go out? Well, I think Father Jill somehow had them out at lunchtime, didn't he? Was it lunchtime? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're out there in their trailer, they go out into where the public can see them, just around the corner, in their trailer. So if you are coming, uh, you'll be able to see them tomorrow, the little celebrities. Oh, well done, Pete. There's quite a lot... I didn't think it would take to a bottle being sold now. I don't know if anybody can hear me or not, but there's quite a lot of activities going on around the country and in Dumfries tomorrow, so um, it might not be as busy a day as it's been the past couple of days. So, good day to come see us. Great day. It's always a good day. Um, Diana sent 50 stars for the new friend baby. Thank you, Diana. It's very generous. Um, right. Holly <laughs> says, that's it. We've got to go. We can get that... Maybe I can supply cuddles and bottles. 
Um, delighted she's feeling. So am I, Geraldine. So am I. Might thrive going out a bottle for a, wee, a while more. Yeah, we'll give it. Well, that'll be it remaining on the bottle now. It won't go back to mum. That is it on the bottle forever. Um, Gretchen's wearing her, wee, her miracle t shirt right now. Brilliant, Gretchen. And Julie sent 50 stars. Right, everyone, thank you for tuning in. We're going to call it there. That's just about done for the night. Going to go and check this little baby. Um, and we'll hopefully see you tomorrow. If not, uh, I will. If we've got anything to update you on, I'll be straight on to live. So keep an eye on your phone and always click that little bell button to be notified when we go live. And remember, I know a few of you were having some pro tro trouble with playing the videos. We're uploading all of our live videos onto our YouTube channel, Dallas Gone Farm Fun, so that if you are having problems to replay them, you can just go on to there. Uh, because I know it's frustrating for a lot of you. Uh, you can go on to there and you can upload them. So this will be uploaded in the morning and you can watch straight straight on YouTube. Uh, our TikTok, Dallas Gone Farm Fun, uh, Dallas Gone Farm, Dallas Gone Farm on TikTok, sorry. Uh, it's Dallas Gone Farm on TikTok. And if you want to join us in the supporters group, that would be awesome. We'd love to see you in there, wouldn't we, Pete? Absolutely. Hilarious, hilarious uh, group. There's loads of great posts. Uh, it's a massive community. We love it. There's people all over the world. Come here to ask you a question about it. I think everyone can hear you, Pete. Right. So, uh, all the posts that go on to the supporters group um, are approved by the mods. Is that the name you were? Yeah. The use? Yeah. Well, so, yeah. Us. So, we've got us and Rachel and Connor, etc. Except I got a warning that I got a, I had to go to the naughty step the other day for approving stuff, didn't I? Yeah. No, not in the naughty step. It's just things that... No, anyway, we don't need to do this no, on here. No, 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 I think we have to. But people don't understand what you're talking about. This is the inner workings from behind the I'm just scenes. I'm trying to paint a picture. Of your bad behaviour. No. So the thing is, you, no, get, you do silly things and then I have to reprimand you and then you get annoyed at me. <laughs> and then you tell two and a half thousand people yeah, on me. Well, I think you should. Yes, thank you everybody for your support. Anyway, so we can do this on our phone, approve or not approve. I went on yesterday to try and to see onto the approvals page and I can't get on now. Have you doctored my phone? No. Promise. No, I, pro I, it has. <laughs> I'm not. Has. I swear I'm not. I swear. I swear I've not. I'll find other ways to get on. Don't worry. I swear that I haven't. There's something wrong with your phone. You must be logged in. I'm logged in. You're not logged in. Where is my phone? I don't know. You had it. I'll give it to you because you're reading it. I've chucked it in the water bucket. Yes, you see, you see, he's horrible to me. Don't believe him, don't believe him. He's not as innocent so, as he looks. Uh, little um, Misty Blues pal. Good job. That's going to help at no end. Right, thanks for joining us. You've got your um, obligatory Farmer Ben, Farmer Pete argument on live. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for joining us. Um, Farmer Pete is... Look, see, what am I supposed to do with that? It's so difficult. It's so difficult. Right, thanks guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.